just uh, that's the one. That's two, that's oh. Hmm. Four kings. Any luck? I don't know. See from there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, trick number two. I've learned two. Um, this is it. Now you're going to have to be the eyes of the audience. Your name is? Simon. Simon. Simon, I'm going to show you this deck. Some people at the back won't be able to see this, but hopefully you will. This is a deck of 52 bicycle cards. Every single one of these is a genuine bicycle card. They all have a number on the back, as you can see. One, two, three, etc. So you're going to be the referee. So would you name an odd number for me? Any odd number you like? Thirteen. Thirteen. Just make sure, Simon, I'm going through this like this. Yes, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah. Could you name an even number for me? An even number? Uh, six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? All fair so far? Yeah. Good. Um, oh, one other thing. I just want to tell you, this is a prediction that I have here. And this <coughs> prediction has been in full view all the time. I'm not going to change it, but I'm going to put it here because it's going to become important in a moment. Now, can I just reiterate, this deck is a genuine deck of bicycle cards. Every single one has a number on the back, as you saw. Everyone is different. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Could you name a card for me? <coughs> uh, the Eight of Clubs. The Eight of Clubs. If I just look through here, there should be an Eight of Clubs. Is that correct? Yeah. It's the right one. Okay. Yeah. Here's the prediction. It says the Two of Spades, the Seven of Diamonds, and number 37. If you look here, you chose 13, sir. 13. And that is indeed the two of spades. <laughs> you also said number six, is that right? Yeah. Is the seven of diamonds. <laughs> and if you look here, you chose the eight of clubs, sir, and that one is indeed 37. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's do one more. Now, uh, would you mind helping me for a moment? You can stay where you are, but what you need to do is you need to choose a card. I'm going to use a, uh, another deck, because you might accuse me of using a Mark deck if I used the one before. So, uh, yeah. Could you just take one of those out? Any card you like, just grab one out, any one you like, it's not important. Good. And you need to write your name on the face of that card. I'm going to give you a pen. I can see it. You can put it down. It doesn't matter if I see it. Uh, five of hearts. Excellent. Um, and, uh, thank you, sir. So, me. so here we are. And this is, um, don't help me. Uh, oh, actually, you might. Um, Terry-Ann. Terry-Ann. Thank you, Terry-Ann. That's right. Terry-Ann's card signed here. Now, Terry, and your card goes back in the middle of here, about halfway down. There it is. You give these deck a shuffle, here comes the shuffle. Thank you. You have no idea how hard that is. <laughs> okay, one card comes out the middle of this pack, and if we're lucky, any chance? Is it yours? Yeah. It is. It is. It is. Thank you. You can do it again. I'll show you a second time. You should be able to see from there. There is your card, Terry, and your card goes back into the middle your card comes back to the top. It doesn't matter how many times you do it, it comes back to the top. I'll do it for you one more time. Here it is. Last time coming up. Put it into the middle here, have one. You bury it very deep. This card comes back to the top. Disguise the ten of spades and your signature's gone. There's two tricks there, terry Let me if I just do this. It's back. And here it is with our signature on. Probably at that time, there is one other way. Oh, that's my fault. There is one in here. Let me just show you. Oh, yeah, Terry Ann's pocket. In the <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let me show you how it works. Uh, if you're disappointed when you see it, it goes in the middle about halfway. What you do is you give the deck a little flick, back on top. Go for the pocket, got it. Now I'm acting. This is the acting coming up. I'm going to act. It's going to look easy, but I'm acting. There it goes. It goes in the pocket. I'm acting now. And when I put it back in here, it looks like your card has gone into the pocket. It hasn't. But actually, it's always here. Thank you. Okay, there is one more in there. You can go in my pocket so and have a look. Actually, no, I'll do it. But, it's <laughs> and it but you do see it. There it goes again. There it is. The last time. Last time coming up. Watch. You ready? Do you see it go? It's here. I have it here. It's, oh. Sorry, it went the other way around. The cards are over here. <laughs> the way around. Much That's it. You can do it face up. If that was in the pocket now, that would be a miracle. It's not, of course. But if you can, can you hear it? Can you hear something then? You can hear it. It's me, <laughs> Devin Box. Inside the box, folded up, there's one card, and that card in there, folded up, is your card there. There I am with your signature on it. <laughs> Thank you. There's a lot of pressure going last. Awful lot of pressure. Not least of all to say, there's seven magicians up in the balcony thinking, I hope he screws up more than I did. <laughs> I didn't see the other act, so I don't know how much I need to screw up to make them happy. I like to make people happy. So. One last one before we go. And, um, oh, let's use one of 
these. Simon, you were helping me out earlier. If you take that card. I'm going to give you a pen. Could you just sign your name on it? And just so we can see, could you sign it in that bottom margin down there yeah. so we can see? When I was 14 years old, I played Puck in Midsummer Night's Dream. 14 years old. And Puck's a very interesting part. He uh, uh, says the last few lines uh, of the play. Um, he is the last person left on stage at the end, which I always think is quite a fun thing to do. And uh, he says, um, he says uh, if we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended. That you have but slumbered here, whilst these visions did appear. And this week, an idle theme, no more yielding but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you'll pardon, we will mend. And as I am an honest puck, and if we have unearned luck, now to escape the serpent's tongue. We will make amends ere long. Else the pucker lie a call. So, good night unto you all. Give me your hands if we be friends. And Robin shall. Restore. Amen. Mm -hmm. Post edition of the year 2013 is Tim Shoesmith. Yeah!